Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, I have to redo the video because the computer went off <laughs> of its rocker <laughs> anyway, I don't know <coughs> um, welcome back and thank you very much for all your likes and shares you are number five in line for the reading as you came in with 42 likes so thank you very much and welcome back and if you're new and you've just dropped in for the first time then welcome please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified as I go live uh, three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday uh, unless something comes in between and also I'll, I upload daily uh, at the moment I'm uploading also dailies so make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button as well because the most likes will um, if the, the the most likes video the video that has the most likes will become number one that's why you most probably find them hickly pickly on my home page okay my darlings well let's get started with your reading I have done it and uh, like I said that something went wrong this is your romance reading for July 2020 this is the Quirin card or the overall card the first week second week third week and fourth week and the corner cards will be clarified by the three tarot cards and it works also vice versa I have the angel romance card then I have surrender uh, the oracle of surrender and that is an advice card or a suggestion card inv invitation card um, and also answer of the angels the first card that you have is the two of cups that is my card for emotional balance and meeting your soulmate or having your soulmate if you have a partner uh, this reading is a general reading so if it resonates with you great if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and remember you are not only a sun sign but also a rising sign and a moon sign we are made out of different uh, our the, the zodiac sign is also made out of other planets so you might be um, hooked up with your soulmate or you might be hooked up or will be hooked up with a soulmate you might meet your soulmate but you're definitely emotionally imbalanced Scorpio although you are a water sign you are emotionally imbalanced there are lots of new beginnings most probably also in general a uh, new job perhaps you might be moving in with somebody else perhaps you're buying a house together with somebody else this is definitely a new beginning you, your soulmate that you might meet could be an earth sign that is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn so that could be happening in the first week of July then we also in the second week we have justice you might be getting married you might be getting a proposal since you have the card of justice this is like it says justice the truth will come out um, justice will be done and you'll get what you deserve and so will the other the justice card also represents Libra you might even meet a Libra in the second week if you are getting a proposal because you have met your soulmate and uh, there is a new beginning this could literally be uh, next stage a new beginning to partnership so you might be getting married you might be going to live together you will need to go to institutions or perhaps you might be involved with municipalities as you have the judgment card and the hierophant they are both people from municipalities or institutions um, again uh, that could be happening in the second week or you might get a proposal let's go and find out information at the registry office or at the church you might be getting ready for your big day 
Wow, lovely. Now, if you are going to get married or if you are going to buy a house, then you have to be uh, money pinching. You'll have. This is why you've got the four of pentacles. Perhaps you have to hold on to your money because that are expensive things to do to get married and have a reception or buying a house, refurbishing a house, um, uh, furnishing the house. So if you are spending money, then hold. Start saving as much as you can, especially now that we're coming out of the COVID. Uh, virus there will be a lot of sales on so it's easy to spend so be wise on how you spend your money keep the balance keep the balance have some for a rainy day okay so that is a beautiful advice and I hope lots of you will be partnering up or moving in together or getting married that is always good news. And then I know that people are happy. Okay. Now, for the same, uh, on the other hand, you might have closed yourself off from society or your emotions, your mind to new ideas. You might have lost your balance. And you, uh, you might be getting your balance back in the third week or the second week. Um, so you might have felt out of whack because of the lockdown who knows you might have lost your job and you um, were scared that you wouldn't be emotionally in balance or you wouldn't be emotionally or financially in balance well perhaps you've got this new job so now you can put go forth with your plans the money will come back in and it will balance out. Remember, you don't have to have a big wedding. You can be creative. If you are getting married or if you are buying that house, then security and balance will be back. You just have to be more aware of how to do it. Ask help from an institution. There are finance advices if you need to balance your finances and have a, a peaceful life, a steady life, step by step to, to maintain the balance. Okay, now let's have a look. There's a lot of messages flying in. So you could be meeting, if you're not partnered up, you could be meeting in Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. Taurus is high, also highlighted by the High Priest or a Virgo and I still get a feeling of a Gemini because the two of cups looks a lot like the lovers and the lovers are Gemini but I had that in that last reading as well and like I said you might be getting married in the fourth week or you might organize a wedding as the high priest is the man of the institution of the church faithful spiritual institution Wow. And you don't have to have a big wedding. You can go to the registry office and the church. They're not expensive. And hold your party later. Okay. Uh, you can celebrate with a small party. There are a few people around you. Okay. Perhaps just your witnesses. You need two witnesses to marry. So have a small party. Um, afterwards go out to dinner with four people you've got number four here so and you've got four people I'm only using the pictures of the Linamon not the cartomancy or the numerology and hold your if you want you've saved enough money um, because moving home or ca moving in together does cost a lot of money and time to refurbish it then at a later date you might want to get married or so long you are living together if you're not getting married then have the party at a later date combine a party with a Christmas party perhaps everything will be not so uh, locked down or precise at Christmas or just before Christmas the angels are with you though I do have three no look at this four eights this is exceptionally extraordinary now I know why it went wrong 
because the, I've left the cards on the table. This has never happened to me before. 8888 eight, eight, eight. and I'm not using the cartomancy. Okay? I'm just noticing the numbers. I'm not even doing the numerology. But if you see 88 eight or 888, eight, eight, yeah, that will be significant to you. Or perhaps your new partner. This could be the 8th of the 8th. 8th of the 8th. 8 of the 8th. Or 8 of the 8th. Eight, eight, 8 minutes past 8. Perhaps you might be going out to dinner on the 8th of August. 8 minutes past 8. Perhaps you might meet somebody then. Who knows? I don't know. But you do have your angels with you. Oh, again, a double number. Okay. Now, the first corner card is the mountain. Don't make problem. Don't make things uh, worse than what they are. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Be flexible. Be flexible. You don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk the mountain. It is saying take your time. Be aware of time. Okay. Make time. Make time for yourself and your partner. Make time or take your time. Do one step at a time. That is what I'm hearing as well. So get married or move in, then get married. Uh, or get married and then move in. Buy that house for long term and durability. Take your time. Start saving. Wow. You don't have to make an elephant out of a fly. You hold the key. You hold the key. You've got the key and look through the keyhole. There is more possibilities. Be creative. Have fun. Make quality time for you and your partner. It doesn't cost much money. It's warning you to be careful with money. If you're spending, tighten up those purse strings. You own a house now, perhaps. Okay? And you need the money especially now you might one of you might be without a job or might have been without a job and you've got the job right things aren't as bad just look at the positive side of things but stay realistic don't uh, I'm getting Strauss Vogel technique so I'm in my brain is working in English and 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 Dutch and I've got to translate this um, don't stick your head in the s sand an ostrich technique ostrich technique so don't stick your head in the sand be open to what is happening around you open yourself up to good things um, walk away from other people's drama walk away from negative things try to maintain as positive as you can and project the positivity it will come to you otherwise ask help don't shy away to ask help from others and that is you can do you can open the door to help and advice you after all have the star okay so navigate your way to balance balance financially balance emotionally wow you've done it you've come a long way if you keep on sticking to that the star means your wish or goal is coming true if you are hooked up or if you're single, you will reach your goal. Your dream is coming true. Now, you've also got the moon. The moon means there's the dark side of the moon. There are things that you don't know. So make sure that you know everything. Gather knowledge like the air sign. Ask help, professional help or father, a father figure. That is what the Hierophant means and you might seek professional help in the second week or the third week fourth week sorry from a father or a professional and like I said you might be meeting a Taurus so that you get um, the right knowledge and I think you're signing co contracts either a marriage certificate or a living together contract uh, so that you are legally covered. So if something happens to one of one of you, then the other is 
are protected by the judicial system and from other institutions. Okay, and the, you are in the spotlight. Okay, Scorpio, this is Pisces. Pisces represents Moon, so that could be also another sign that could be around you, that could be interested in you. Um, the, you are on the right path because the moon also shines light on your path. You are on your way to your right uh, node. The node is the north node, your north node. And this clock time could be of essence or it could mean take your time. The next full moon or new moon could be significant to you. Okay. And I'm also hearing um, many moons ago, many moons ago, something happened many moons ago. <coughs> so let's have a look. This could be this could be in the time of Taurus. This could also be in the time of Pisces. Um, Pisces. Taurus. Yes. Well, what what did start in the time of uh, Pisces was the COVID. That's the first of March. It it became official, and then we've got Taurus. Okay. And now it is clear, it's coming, so something might have happened. Perhaps you were going to get married in May, or you were going to get married in March. Okay, and now it's it's coming, it's here now, you might be getting married now. You might have got a slot open at the registrar, okay, or at church. Now we are allowed to gather again with about 30 people at church. Hold it in the open air, then you can have um, uh, more people than 30, so long they keep the distance. The rules are slackening. And be creative. Um, instead of going on to um, a restaurant or have your reception there, get a, a banquet put a table out and everybody bring a piece of cake or a salad that will save you money because you've got more costs now there are more new beginnings look at this a new beginning you can open the door you've got a new beginning here coming together so you have choices to make my darlings and most probably more than one so don't panic don't make it worse than what it is. There's always flexibility and adjustment. And stay flexible. Adjust to the situation at hand. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And perhaps um, if you are hooked up, then perhaps you might be seeing your partner in a different way because of the lockdown you've been stuck together and usually it w w uh, sometimes when we are on top of each other it can work on our nerves and then we close down we shut down but they haven't or you haven't and you've been more open and you've gone uh, cl grown closer together and found out and now you're seeing each other from a different perspective that he or she is your soulmate and this could be a new beginning that will enhance the relationship that will take it to the next level from instead of uh, living together buying a house together or getting married moving in together wow Surrender to the beauty of natural w the natural world. Take a relaxing break in spending time in nature. 
replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Yes, like I said, if you are getting married, put a table uh, outside and put the chairs at uh, one and a half meters apart. You can organize something and spare costs and hold the party later in the year when you are allowed to be together. Don't shut yourself away. Ask for help from institutions. It is up to you. Yes, it is up to you to ask for help. You know, people can't read your mind, not even your soulmate. So open up, keep that communication going, and the clarity. Keep the clarity there. So that is the message for you this month. You could meet a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Pisces, okay, or a Libra. So you have seven signs that could that are uh, prominent in the reading, and you are your wish is coming true, and there will be a new beginning. You will also, m you might awaken to uh, see your partner in a different light as your soulmate, and you want to have that uh, relationship forever and ever, and might be getting married. You hold the key. <laughs> so. I love this. This is a beautiful reading. If you are getting married, then congratulations. If you are going to live together and buy your first house together, it's a form of marriage and you'll need to sign like a prenuptial agreement. So if something happens that either of you or both of you are um, safe you're into the next level of your relationship if you are hooked up you are going to the next level wow so be creative that is and remain happy and emotionally in balance i hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and i'll see you in the next video or in the life and thank you for your likes and shares if you would like to be the first one in the list, then make sure you have the most likes. Take care. Oh, um, before I go away, the competition is cancelled as nobody entered it, but we had an amazing discussion on Friday, and what has come out is that the Cyber Angels would love to have more interaction. So after the summer holidays, there will be an interaction evening as well. So, uh, and there was quite a lot. Uh, or we also discussed uh, zodiac signs, and I think the the dominant uh, the dominant signs was uh, Pisces, Gemini, and Scorpio. Okay, well, go and have a look if you're interested. So take care and please like and share and um, if you're new then subscribe and hit the bell on all thank you ciao ciao love you all have a great month